Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about mineral oil and what do we know about its safety in cosmetic products. I'm going to go ahead and start with the number one concern and the number one claim that I see is that mineral oil causes cancer. You'll see many natural companies making that claim that you know creams containing mineral oil will cause you to have cancer and what is the validity of that statement. So first we need to look at where mineral oil comes from. It comes from crude petroleum oil. So crude oil contains a mixture of substances and some of these substances are cancer causing and in fact the World Health Organization classifies untreated or lightly treated industrial grade mineral oil as known carcinogens and there are many studies that link inhalation of industrial grade mineral oil to various cancers. However, the important distinction to make here is that this is referring to industrial grade mineral oil versus cosmetic grade mineral oil. So the mineral oil that you see in your cosmetics has been purified in order to remove all these substances that are carcinogenic. Something you might not know and something that is not told to you by these companies is that castor oil actually is purified from a very poisonous compound itself. Castor oil plants actually contain a compound called ricin and if you've ever seen Breaking Bad you probably remember ricin being used as a poison in this show. So ricin is a substance present in the castor oil plant. However the reason that you're able to use castor oil without worrying about this deadly toxin and harming you is that it goes through a purification process um, and so you don't have to worry about the ricin in your castor oil and you can safely use it in your cosmetic grade products. And actually, so ricin is actually a very dangerous poison and 1.6 milligrams will actually cause mortality in the average adult if inhaled. So, so by this logic, it really doesn't make sense for, you know, the natural companies to say stay away from mineral oil but use castor oil because basically they're saying that they don't trust the purification process for mineral oil but they're saying that you should trust the purification process for castor oil and that's just really not that logic doesn't really make sense so in both of these cases both with mineral both with cosmetic grade mineral oil and cosmetic grade castor oil they both go through a refining process a purification process that removes unwanted substances that are harmful to our health and so I just want to say that, you know, I do really like castor oil. I think it's a great ingredient. I just wanted to make the point that from a logic standpoint, you can't say, hey, castor oil is superior to mineral oil from a safety standpoint because they both have to go through, um, they both have to go through a purification process in order for them to be safe to use in cosmetics. So if you search mineral oil and carcinogenic, you will see some government websites come up, but you have to look carefully at what it's saying. It's saying untreated or mildly treated mineral oil is carcinogenic, and it is true. Studies have linked these untreated mineral oils to cancer. However, once it is refined and goes through this purification process for cosmetics, you know, it does remove those compounds. Now you might be wondering what are these comp so you might be wondering what are these compounds that are carcinogenic? So the most common carcinogen found in petroleum, uh, mineral oil, they're called PAHs. So that stands for polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. So these impurities have been linked to cancer. But again, there is a well-established method of purifying the mineral oil, purifying it of these PAHs and other substances that are unwanted so that you get the pure mineral oil. So I just wanted to start with that claim because I know that's probably the number, the number one concern people have about mineral oil. The other claim that I see about mineral oil often on the internet is that it will cause you to break out. This is actually false. Mineral oil is actually a mineral oil is actually a comedogenic ingredient. And actually, I think the reason this rumor kind of started is that there were some studies back in the 1970s, and these studies were with rabbits, and that they tested the mineral oil on rabbits. 
and they actually found that it was actually a rabbit's ear and they found that the rabbits um, got pimples in their ear when mineral oil was applied. Our skin biology is much different than a rabbit's skin biology. Uh, in more recent studies, there have been products tested containing between 0 and 30% mineral oil, and it was found that it was not comedogenic on human skin. And the thing about mineral oil that is actually a very positive aspect of mineral oil is that it's very stable, very inert, not reactive. It's not going to oxidize. Like, for example, many plant oils, that's actually a problem with many of the plant oils, Although I do love a variety of different plant oils, one issue with them is that they can oxidize very readily and so they're not very stable and then that leads to a lot of skin issues because you have now these degraded plant oils, you know, so you, you have to keep in mind the shelf life of plant oils much more than you do for mineral oil. Mineral oil is very stable. Um, and it's not going to degrade in response to reacting with oxygen or with light. So, um, and it does not clog your pores, contrary to the kind of popular myth on the internet. It actually does not clog your pores. Um, however, I just want to say this. This does not mean that it will not cause you to break out. Everyone, everyone responds differently to ingredients. So, that doesn't mean that there aren't individuals who will not have sensitivities to it. Everyone's skin is different, and so if you do use mineral oil and you find your skin breaks out, then, then yes, definitely stop the use. But, um, yeah, I just want to say that everyone's skin can respond differently, and especially if you have sensitive skin, definitely avoid using mineral oil with fragrance. Fragrance can cause you to become sensitized to other ingredients. Or another claim that I see on the internet a lot about mineral oil is that it actually doesn't moisturize your skin. You know, products containing or, you know, creams containing mineral oil or products containing mineral oil. The claim is that it actually doesn't moisturize your skin, that it just sits on top of your skin and kind of suffocates your skin. Okay, so, so in order to answer whether or not this claim is true or not, we need to look at the different types of moisturizers. So... So there are three basic types of moisturizers. You have occlusives, which basically trap moisture in, prevent water loss. You have humectants that hold on to water. And then you have emollients, which make your skin feel very soft. Mineral oil is actually an excellent occlusive. So, so it is true when people say it just sits on top, when people say it sits on top of your skin, that actually is true. It does sit on top of your skin just like all occlusive moisturizers, but it does moisturize. So the claim that it does not moisturize, that's false. It sits on top of your skin and it traps, it traps the water in your skin and prevents the water from evaporating from your skin, but it it does indeed moisturize the skin. The, the thing about occlusive moisturizers is if you already have really dry skin, you don't, you're lacking moisture in your skin, just putting that on your skin alone is not going to fix your problem. It's not going to fix dry skin. Because if you think about it, if there's not already water there to begin with, then it's not going to be able to trap any water in. So what you need to do is, actually the best thing to do would be to use well, and so this is a tip. I know I've talked about Dr. Dre a lot on my channel. I really, I really, really enjoy Dr. Dre's channel. Definitely recommend that you watch her channel. She's a dermatologist. And a trick that I learned from her that's really changed my skin is that you want to apply, this is getting a little bit off topic, but I'll just say it quickly. You want to apply a humectant to wet skin. So right after you wash your face while your skin is wet, apply a humectant such as a product containing hyaluronic acid and then you want to put an occlusive moisturizer on top. And a product containing mineral oil could be an example of an occlusive moisturizer that you would put on top. And so that's going to seal the water in. And also if you are going to use a product containing mineral oil, you need to put all of your other active ingredients on first. So if you're going to use any other active ingredient in your skincare and if you are using a moisturizer that contains mineral oil because it is such an excellent occlusive that it is true that it might prevent these you know active ingredients from working properly so I would certainly recommend first you know putting all of your other ingredients 
all the other steps to your skincare first before applying a product with mineral oil if that is the you know choice of moisturizer that you choose i hope this video was helpful to you if you've wondered about the claims about mineral oil thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day